What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm headed up I-22. I go from where I live up to Memphis. Uh, man, I wish I'd have had the camera rolling just a minute ago. I was trucking along there before I cut the cameras on. I kept seeing something on my phone was showing something in the road or something up ahead. And uh, anyway, I don't know if that's what it was, but right before I cut the cameras on, I looked over and saw something right on the white line right here. And it was like somebody had lost a ladder. It was all twisted up, just been hit a couple times. But man, you gotta watch that stuff. You guys keep your eyes open while you're out there on the road. Uh, try to be safe, man. That's why when I'm out, when I'm out, uh, you know, riding at night, I really don't like running too hard at night because the crap like that in the road, you can't see it. And I'm just out for a leisurely ride today, man. You couldn't ask for a prettier day to ride. It is uh, 88 degrees out, 89, which is still kind of warm, but feels a lot better than it has. And I'm just on a leisurely ride today. I hope I'm not screaming in this thing. Just out on a leisurely ride, but got to get on past these big trucks. I don't like camping out by them. If I come up on one of them on the highway, I try to gas on the throttle a little bit, go on and get by them. I don't want to be beside one that have a blowout or something like that. That would not be good. But uh, I am running. 80 right now because I have to get by him. Speed limit 70. I've had a cruise set on 75. I'm going to tell you, all these folks wanting to run 100 today, they can just shoot right on by me. But we are headed up to ride a road that I found a week or two ago. And what happened was I had a, I was needing some metal cabinets to use at the house to get some stuff organized. And found some for sale on the on marketplace and so I was coming up here to a little town called Ashland and it, it took me down State Road 5 and I was thinking when I was in the truck of course because I had to get those cabinets but I was thinking man this is a really nice road I'm gonna come back and ride this on the bike so that's where I'm headed today I'm gonna take you guys along with me show you this nice road and uh once we get there i'll probably just cut the camera on let the camera run for the entire length of the road but man, i'm not in a hurry today i'm not out here trying to ride hard or anything like that this is just the quickest way to get up here to this road and once i get that done on the way back home i will probably find me a different route go back on some two lanes try to stay off of this interstate yeah, great day to ride, man. Great day. Hope all you guys are doing well. And like I said, welcome to the channel. If you guys haven't been here before, uh, I invite you to look around at my content. If it might be something you're interested in, and consider subscribing, man. It uh, won't cost anything. It helps the channel out. And uh, maybe, maybe you'll see some more stuff you like. See, look at that. Running my mouth. I almost missed my exit. Almost. Had my volume cut down on my music so I didn't hear the old GPS tell me where to turn. And something else I'm doing different today. Uh on a ride to the Delta Mississippi Blues Trail. Notice, typically what I try to do, I try to ride with my camera in wide view. And then of course it's better when you get off do talking head stuff or you know looking around, put it in standard view. We had so much going on, so many stops to make. Uh, crack this visor, so many stops to make and stuff that I forgot to take it out of wide view and I had a lot of videos kind of warped a little bit 
that bugs me. I apologize for that, guys, but I'm just trying today. I'm leaving it in standard view, even though I'm riding. We'll see how that turns out. And if you guys record content, uh, what do you guys do? Do you guys normally ride in standard view, wide view? Do you switch back and forth? Uh, what do y'all do? Let me know that in the comments. Cause I'm interested to know what what other people do. And uh, we're up here fixing a turn on the State Road 5. I have a visor pulled all the way down because I was coming down the highway earlier. I had the uh, had my visor all the way up, and then bam, like I got hit in the head with a rock, man. And it was a it was a big old big old bug of some kind. I don't know if it was a bumblebee or what, because I saw it pull off here and let this let this car get by me. I know GPS, we're turning around. And uh anyway it was a big old bumblebee or something because I saw it fly back this way after it hit me, so when I was trucking on down the interstate there, I decided to go ahead and put the put my visor down. But all right, guys, I may cut the video right here and start it back, but we'll turn in. We're on uh, Highway 5, and we're fixing to shoot down through here. I'm just going to let the camera run, let you guys ride with me, see what a, what a nice road this was. And uh, so let's do that now. Route 5 North. We're headed toward Ashland. I don't remember how far it is. Not that far. Maybe, I don't know, 8 miles, 12 miles. I can't really remember. Uh, well, it's right there on my phone. 16 miles. So, I was right. Coming up through here the other day, it was like a lot of little, you know, shaded areas and covered over with trees and stuff. So, I wanted to come back and ride this on the bike. I think you guys will enjoy the ride. There's not a lot of twisties or anything. We don't have a lot of that stuff here in Mississippi. We got some curvy roads and whatnot, but nothing like up in the mountains or anything like that. But I thought it was a pretty ride. Well, let's check her out. this man that's pretty shaded trees covering the road got that music on down sometimes I don't want any music tell you what I did guys you know last year when I rode up to uh rode up to Tennessee Going up there to ride the tail of the dragon. I, I uh, left house. I was gone for three days. I rode up there one day. Spent the night. Got out. Rode a bunch of you know the roads that I was trying to ride. The next day. Next day came back home. So I was riding for three days, and the whole time I was gone, I think I only cut the. Uh, I cut my radio on, and actually listened to some music when I was maybe. I don't know, 60 miles uh, to the house. So the whole time, whole trip up there, whole time I was riding, I had no music going, man. It was just, uh, 
what I could hear the wind and the bike. Solitude, baby. Solitude. Look at that. Look at the woods right there. Part of this road runs through the uh, Holly Springs National Forest. So, maybe that's why a lot of it's, you know, what I thought was such a nice drive. Yeah, sometimes I ride, man, I want, I want some music, I want to jam out a little bit, you know, but other times, all I want to hear is that motor, and the exhaust. about you guys what do y'all uh y'all are riding i know y'all have heard some people man they got you know they can't they've got to have music when they ride and i used to be like that you know but what about you guys I mean y'all have to have music going or you like me sometimes you just want to you know be uh have some solitude Nothing but the road and your thoughts, nothing else, and truth in your mind. This guys, look at the road just <laughs> got a smile on my face, man.
do, guys. I'm gonna come back up here in the fall. I think this would be a really pretty little road to ride when it's cooler. Leaves changing some. spot right there somebody's probably fixing the build Right there in that shaded dip felt good.
trees there trying to hide that sign. into Ashland, Mississippi. I'm probably going to stop at the store up here. Get me a Coke. Which if y'all don't know, down here in the south, especially around here, Coke just means any kind of soda pop. I've heard Paul talk about that before in his videos. That's just the way it is. Let me see. I think I may go ahead and get some gas. And I don't know which way I'm going back. Find me a different route, so I'm gonna get me some quick gas up. Only 87, nope. Nope. We ain't doing 87 today. Alright guys, I'm gonna get parked. Get something to drink up in here. 
figure out which way we're going back. All right, well, guys, I'm headed back through Highway 5 now. I hope y'all enjoyed that ride. Appreciate you guys watching, coming along with me, and we will see y'all in the next one.